mind and oh my gosh the day is gone the moon has actually risen the moonlight is spreading across wild berry island and i have been so busy today that i am coming to you guys much later than usual with our afternoon version of wild berry islands adventures and i have so much to share with you guys i can't believe just this morning we were planting and watering flowers and fruit trees and we managed to get this adorable animal crossing new horizons switch from my beloved chips as a birthday gift and things have been so busy all day long chips and i have actually been playing new horizons on his island together and we came up with this really cute idea where the island that we play together over on uh, his switch is actually our home island and wildberry island here is my work island! This is where I come to work as a biologist every day and share the adventures with you guys. And hopefully one day I will be able to share chips with you guys too. And he will be able to come and we can collab and explore the island here together. And we can also show off our home island and all of its wonders there too. So moral of the story is I have been really busy hours today playing with chips, which is why we have all of these treasures, including, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Let me show you what chips actually made us. We're kind of, it's almost cheaty because you won't learn how to do this for quite a while on our island just yet with Tom Nook, but it's a ladder. It is a freaking ladder. We can actually go ahead and we can scale the cliffs now. Look at this. Joink. Also some nice wood that we can grab over here. <gasps> Look, we could get to this fossil. Oh my gosh, I definitely want to get to that fossil. Here we go. You guys ready? Thank you very much, Chips, my beloved. Going up. We did it! We did it! We have access to all of Wildberry now. <gasps> Look, and there's some bugs I don't recognize over here. Okay, we definitely have to catch those guys. All right, and I can reach all of our hyacinths now, which is so exciting. Why, hello, friend. Oh no, I missed him. Let's get the other friend. Who is this? Yes, I caught a man-based stink bug. Reminds me of my uncle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he does kind of look like my uncle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cool. So thank you very much to my beloved because now we can explore every corner of Wildberry Island. Which, we're actually going- oh no, I chased off another bug, I didn't even see it. Which, we're gonna actually have to save for later, because today, we actually need to collect all of the fossils that we have been finding and share them with Blathers before he closes down his museum tent for renovations. And we need to go ahead and give Tommy and Timmy all of the wood that they need in order to upgrade their shop, which I think is gonna be adorable. But we'll, we'll go ahead and explore just one more up because this is so cool. Look, it's another bug we don't have. I, I bet it's another stink bug. I got him. Yes. All right. I caught a stink bug. It lives up to its name. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. And I love the hyacinths. I can't believe those are our actual like native flowers. They're so pretty. Wow. Look at all of this. Look at us exploring all the way at the very top here. I definitely want to capture the moment because this is just so cool. All right, and we'll zoom in a little and then we'll kind of shift to the right. Okay, zoom out a little, whoops, so that we can get the moon in the background. There we go. And then a little over here and then a little bit back so that we can get the moon. Oh. We can actually explore all of Wildberry now. All right, let's go ahead and claim the Nook Miles. Apparently we had some for taking a picture. And we'll worry about Nook Miles and we'll worry about exploring the other random islands later. For now, like I said, gosh, we're busy enough just making sure that Tommy and Timmy have all of the wood that they need. Oh, another man-faced stink bug. This is so cool. <gasps> and there's a pink hyacinth over here. I think that this is actually evidence of our very first floral hybrid on the island, friends. This is so exciting. We might be able to start growing hybrid flowers to share with our friends. Oh, all right, wonderful. So we're finding stink bugs. We need to go and find that other fossil. 
I need to go and get that other fossil that we saw. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, there's so many seashells to collect. Do I have any messages on the beach waiting for us? We'll check really quickly. We haven't even had time. Oh, we do. We have another message in a bottle. That makes two messages in a bottle that I need to open with you guys. I have gifts from my friends. I cannot wait to set it up so we can visit with our patrons too. I've been so busy and you know with everything going on and Chips and I are really loving being able to do our island adventures too because well we've had to cancel our wedding celebrations <laughs> so we're kind of joking and spending all day playing Animal Crossing together as a way to remind each other what's most important is that we love one another and that we have so much fun building up an island together. I kind of think about the island we're creating together as like our little honeymoon island, to be honest. Let's see, can I get this? Come on. Yay! Wow, we just got so many presents to be able to share with everyone. And let's go ahead and open them real quick. We've got a whole bunch of stink bugs to keep. I've got messages in a bottle. Oh, and then Chips also gave me these huge pile of weeds because he plucked every single weed off of our home island. And I love that eventually we'll be able to craft these into either more leaf umbrellas or other plants. Um, and I also collected some of the roses from our home island because we do actually have roses that grow over there. And where do I want to put the roses? I kind of want to put the roses down by Pierce's place because doesn't that seem kind of apt? His name is Pierce. We might plant some roses maybe over here. Oh, hello, Pierce. We'll say to hello him, to him in just a second. And we'll clear out the weeds around here so that that way... Oh, Pierce! <gasps> he loves it! Look, guys, he just immediately started watering them. That was so cool. Hey, Hawkeye, working up a good sweat? Hey, I heard your tent finally hit the gym and bulked up into a house. Congrats, Hawkeye. I'm thinking I might drop by sometime to check on your free weight situation. Keep an eye out. Oh, I love that. Here, we'll go ahead and put down a couple more roses next to here, because apparently he liked that idea. All right, and we'll plant the red roses. And then on this side, we'll plant the yellow roses. And then hopefully with a little bit of TLC and watering, which I think our guy Pierce might be happy to do, these specimens will begin propagating. And eventually, throughout Wildberry Island, we will be sure to put all sorts of little garden spots so that we can keep an eye on hybrid plants. For now though, we have plenty to keep us busy. All right, looks like I have more Nook Miles. Let me check. Oh, greedy weeder! I bet Chips has definitely filled that out. Messy long clumpings is the new <laughs> is the new title that you can get from that. All right, well that's adorable. Uh, let's see. Oh, and I have gifts still. Okay, we've got to organize ourselves because so much is going on. I say first things first. Let's go ahead. Let me check how much inventory space I have. Let's take all of the wood that I gathered and put down over here to Tommy and Timmy. What a busy day it's been. I'm so happy I get to share some of it with you guys. Because like I said, even though so much is going on and even though Chips and I have had to like cancel our wedding celebrations, Tommy, I love how he's reading a book with his uncle right now. I mean, we still have a chance to make something beautiful together. So let's build up our island. I wanna build a shop. Right now we're asking residents for their help in donating the materials we need to build a shop. I'd like to donate, Timmy. Of course, of course. Right now you have some softwood, wood, and hardwood. Do you want to donate 30 of each? I sure do. These are for you. I collected them from across our island tonight before meeting with you guys. Thank you so much. We only need one last bit to research our donation goals for the building, building the shop. To thank you, let me offer you a fax machine. Oh, what? A diner neon clock and a lace skirt. Those actually sound kind of cute. I totally didn't know he'd give us some items. We'd love your cooperation in donating the last type of material we need. Oh my gosh! So we just got a bunch of items from him. Fax machine. I want to see the lace skirt really quickly. Oh, that's really cute. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. We'll keep on the loose ball dress for just a second though. 
All right, tell me about it, Timmy. What else do you need for your shop? Okay, I'd like to donate. What do you need? Oh, you need 30 iron nuggets? <gasps> oh, dear. I really wanted to get their little nook shop started tonight, but I forgot about the iron nuggets somehow. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and go in my house really quickly because that's where I have been storing all of the building material to try to keep things a little tidier until we can build like a DIY workshop area. Oh yeah, and ta-da! I made a succulent planter out of the empty can we caught. We also have some new fish. We have a carp and then we have a dace, which we're going to be giving to Blathers when we have some time. And I also caught a golden trout that we'll put up here when I was visiting at Chips on our home island. Let's scoot this guy over. I love this. I, I am in my biology cabin, surrounded by all sorts of animals. This is perfect. And we'll put down the man-faced stink bug and the normal stink bug. There we go. All of you guys are gonna go to Blathers as soon as I can, I can manage it. And then we have a fax machine, a diner neon clock, and the lace skirt. I think for now, we'll just put all of those in storage. And, whoops. Uh, did I just hang a bunch of, oh, I did, I hung it on the wall, that's really funny. <laughs> I didn't really want to do that, that's really cute. All right, we'll select this, put in storage, and then put in storage, there we go. And then, did that unlock some nook miles? I think it did. Good things in store. I'll reward you with miles based on the number of items you have in storage, hmm? Using the convenient storage feature will make life on the island more pleasant. Yay! Overstuffed stylist. I love that. We'll have to change and update our title pretty soon. But this is so fun. I really feel like I am making a biology cabin. And when I work on this island with you guys, I'm coming to work. It's really fun. All right. Oh, we also need to get our fossils identified from Blathers. So let me gather up the fossils we had in the corner and let me open up storage. I only have nine iron nuggets. Oof, you guys, I don't know. That's gonna make it a little bit tricky when it comes to building Tommy and Timmy's little store. I thought I had a lot more than that. All right, we'll look for some and we'll see if we can find any tonight on our island. All right, let's go ahead and see what presents my friends sent to us as well. So much to do every day. All right. What's in here? We've got, oh, we have two gifts from my beloved. Yum yum pears. Okay, so I think we definitely have some pears in here. And then Mark. Mark, huh? All right, all right. What's that about my in love? Let's see, I think these are the two that he sent. Oh, automatic dishwasher. <laughs> I need to send that to one of our friends. It's an inside joke. And then this is the present. The box skirt uniform is actually what we got from. <gasps> it's so cute. This is what we actually got from, um, Gosh, from the sky. It like fell from the sky a moment ago. Okay, that's amazing. And then I have a gift from... Hello, YouTube! Enjoy the adventure! Be safe! From my friend Drama King. It would be great if I actually included the gift. <laughs> Thank you very much, Drama King. He's a very good friend of ours. Uh, dear Siri, I want to express my appreciation for all that you do for me. That's why I decided to get you this gift. I hope you like your shiny new rain boots. Oh, that's so nice! He gave us more rain boots! Gosh, that's really friendly. We always need more rain boots when it comes to like working on a biology island. And is this going to be different colors? Oh, they're so cute. They're the same color. This is so cute. And then let's go ahead and see. Oh, and a little rain hat! Oh, that's adorable! So now I'll be able to like have a whole rain outfit thanks to my friends. That's so cute. I love it. All right, we're going to save the rain outfit for later for sure. And then let's open up this present from the sky. Pants press. What? Oh my gosh. 
I know who I have to send this to. My friend Drama King. This is perfect for him. It's a pants press. Where you can like make your pants really nice and fancy for businessy things. Or maybe I should- oh wait, oh maybe- oh, okay. Now I have- I feel conflicted. I have two friends who that would be really good for. Well eventually you'll be able to unlock the ability to buy all of the items that you find and discover. So eventually I can give it to both of them. Let's go ahead and open up the message in a bottle for now. To whoever lifted this, the other day I was coming up with a new strength routine when a great DIY project hit me instead. I got so psyched I wrote out the recipe. Isn't that wild? Now go use it! Go go! From Go Team DIY from Tank. Oh my gosh. Simple DIY workbench. I already know that recipe. I didn't know you could get dupes on those recipes. That's so interesting. And then the other message in the bottle. To whoever found this, did you know that you can get so bored during commercials? That's when I came up with this recipe. I put it in this bottle, so check it out. The recipe is for sure a hit. Show it off once you're done. The cutest artisan, Cameron. Log Garden Lounge. All right, let's check this one out. I didn't know you could get dupes. DIY recipes. It's so interesting. Oh, that's cute! Oh, okay. Well, I'm really happy that we learned a couple new recipes. Um, I only have nine iron nuggets. That's a little bit of a problem. Definitely a little bit of a problem. And we need to go find more fossils to turn into blathers. So I'm going to drop this and I'll leave, drop the pants press. Uh, drop the rain hat, which is so cute. Drop the extra rain boots, which I'm totally leaving out. Uh, drop the automatic dishwasher, which I'm gonna give to a friend. This uniform, so freaking cute. These pears, gotta plant them. We'll do that later. There's no room to drop anything else here. Look, we have to empty our pockets! <laughs> Now's go time! And... I think we are gonna have to go ahead and just smack some rocks and cross our fingers now, guys. Okay, oh, this is looking really good so far. <gasps> oh, thank goodness! Okay, I think we will be able to give him all of the iron ore that we need to get the shop up and going tonight, then. If we can just keep that luck up. We're up to 14, so that's not quite half of what we need. So let's explore our island, then. This is even better that Chips gave us the ladder. Because we definitely need this iron to make sure this can happen. And if- Oh! oh Gulliver! What are you doing down here? Hello? Oh dear, today is going to be another very busy day. A vast storm's a-coming. Brace yourselves, lads. Hard to starboard, tough to port, stern to stern. Gulliver, come on, dude. He's just snoring away. Nyam. <laughs> We're going- Who's at the helm? And just give me five more minutes. I gotta find his voice. That's gonna take me a second. Come on, Gulliver, you can wake up. Mm. Do you have my pickled herring? Uh, do you have my pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so. Wait, I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on, I know that one. I'm none other than Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the seven seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading your vacant expression as a yes. Yeah. Guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. That's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Ha! Huh. Don't worry. The fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy. Uh. My, my. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so cute. Look, it's totally shattered. My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few com communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, that could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last a couple of hours. I'm begging you here. Will you look for my communicator parts? Please? Alright, alright, we'll look for them. <gasps> really? Wow! I haven't gotten a reception in this sweet and bubbly since I washed ashore of old Cor uh, Coracola. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. 
I'm just missing five parts. If you find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm not sure that's how it works, Gulliver. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable! After you've found all five of my communicator parts, just bring him right here. I'll do the rest. Alright, you guys. Now we have another task to do today. <laughs> uh, fossils. We've got the shop. We'll, we'll search the beach in just a second. Let's come over here. Let's actually dig this hole, get the fossil. Because we have so many of them. You know what? We might have to save the fossils for another day then. Because um, this is just getting a little bit overzealous to say the least. And I really want to get the Nookling shop up. So the shop's going to be... Shop and Gulliver will be our first priorities tonight. And we'll collect all of the fossils. And maybe we'll just have a fossil finding day. Just like we ha usually do in zoo crafting. Definitely need to make that happen in zoo crafting soon. Alright, there we go. Another fossil. I know there's one more. Oh no! Okay, that's okay. That was the flimsy shovel that we were trying to use up. Alright, and let's go ahead. And now we can favorite... Ta-da! The normal shovel! We were trying to use up the flimsy shovel, so this is totally fine. Alright, we'll cover this up. Phew! And then let's gather that last fossil and keep searching for more iron nuggets. If push comes to shove, we may actually have to try wandering to another island in order to search for those nuggets. Alright, there's another one of the man-faced... Stink bugs. Might as well grab them. <laughs> Reminds me of my uncle is going to make me giggle every time. <gasps> another gift! Another gift! Down we go! Shiver me timber hearties! We gotta get it! We gotta get it! Alright, quick! Where's the... There's slingshot. Okay. Go, 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 go! Yay! What do we get? I love the random gifts that fall from the sky. Oh... What? It's perfect! It is so perfect for our biology island! You guys, we got a wasp head model! Okay, I think you have to hang it on the wall. We are totally going to explore that. I think that it, chips would just like burn the whole island down if we had that on our home island, but it's perfect for our biology island here. I can't believe that. That's amazing. Alright. The, clearly the biology... The biology mojo is with us. Do I have any more rocks over here? Oops, and I chased away another stink bug. That's okay. And it looks like the rain actually helped a whole bunch of the flowers to start propagating. There's the other... fossil spot. There we go. Excellent. And we'll cover this one right up. I guess that's a good reason to remove a bunch of the weeds, because it would actually allow a bunch of the flowers to go ahead and start propagating, which means to make more flowers on their own. And it would also allow hybrid flowers to show up more often. Come on. Come on, iron. Come on. Okay. That's not so bad. That takes us up to 18. I'm sure we'll have enough iron in no time. We just have to have faith in a wild berry island. Alright, let's go ahead and use the ladder to get down. Yep, we'll save the fossils for another day. You just have to be able to to adjust to how busy everything can suddenly get. And let's go ahead and jump across the other side. To where eventually this is going to be where I'm going to have my home. I'm really excited about that. And there's the pink. Oh, more pink hyacinths? There's a couple patches of pink hyacinths up here. Or they might grow up to be red ones. We'll have to see. Alright. And meanwhile, maybe we'll put down like a sign or something in the future to remind us of where we can find all of the rocks on our island. Because I, I don't know just yet where we can find all of the, the rocks that we can smack smack. Alright, up we go. Anybody over here? Anything up this side? Nope. There's a fish in that pond, but now's not the time. 
Oh, this is so cool. I can't believe we're climbing cliffs so much earlier than we should be. Thanks to Chips' wonderful gift. It really fits the idea that this is like my work island. Oh, another fossil spot. All right. Let's go ahead and dig this up. We're going to have an amazing day with Blathers. It won't be right away. Whoops. But one day we will have an amazing time with Blathers being able to teach us about all these fossils. Uh-oh, there's no more rocks, you guys. Okay, that means we're going to have to travel to another island, <laughs> which is not what I planned on doing tonight, but it's very important that we manage to get the shop up and going as early as possible. You really want to focus on trying to expand everything so that you have access. I already smacked this rock, didn't I? Smack them? Yeah, that was where we got the pill bug this morning. All right, let's see. Pierce is resting there. Hi, Pierce. Did I already smack this rock? Yep, already smacked this rock. We'll wiggle this way. Just to be sure, I think I have like one more rock somewhere around here. And we still have to help Gulliver too. Oh! Yay, another bell tree! All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that we plant carefully. Bury and hole the bells. I forget where we planted the other bell tree, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. <laughs> all right, meanwhile, let's go ahead and put all these fossils in storage. And then we'll actually go to our very first new island in search of even more of the iron nuggets that we need. All right, so we need, I think 15, 12 more iron nuggets. So, whoops. Oh, well, fossil can go on the ground. I don't mind. And we'll go ahead and put that in storage. Put that in storage. Put that in storage. Traveling to the other islands is really fun. I'm so excited. Oh, well, let's look at the wasp model. The wasp head model. Which should be absolutely perfect for the fact that we have a biology themed place. That's amazing! It's terrifying and horrifying and so perfect for... Uh, terrifying and horrifying in some ways and so freaking perfect for the fact that we're going to make this like a biology museum in other ways. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let's see. What do we need to leave behind? The slingshot can go ahead and go in storage. Leaf umbrella can go in storage. Watering can we don't need right now too, but everything else can actually come with us. We can go ahead and put this, the fish bait and the stones in storage and this clump of weeds in storage. We can sell these two stink bugs. And then we're going to take the airplane and we're gonna go search some of the randomly generated islands that pop up, which is gonna be amazing. I'm very excited about that. I mean, come on, it's right up my alley. I make my own random generators all of the time just for fun. And now we actually have it built in to go and explore different wild areas. All right, Tommy, Timmy, I'm on a really big mission. I'm doing my best, trying to go ahead and gather up 30 of those iron nuggets. Let's grab this stink bug. Sell these two. Are they worth a lot? <gasps> They're worth a thousand apiece? Oh my gosh, I am so going to be hunting for stink bugs. I never thought I'd say that, but it's gonna happen, friends. All right, let's see if we can get 12 iron ore, or 12 iron nuggets from visiting a new island. And this is the first time we're doing this together. It's gonna be so exciting. Ah, <sighs> all right. Let's run this way. Hey, Orville! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only getaway to the skies, the Wildberry Airport. How can I help you out today? Alright, I want to fly. Roger! By the way, I got a Nook Miles ticket with your name on it behind the desk here, so use that whenever. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where did you want to go? I want to use the Nook Miles ticket. Roger! In that case, I'll just take this ticket I got from Tom Nook. I'm ready to get you in the sky right this minute, but let's just check. You all packed? Tools all ready? Time for takeoff. All right, let me get you airborne. That's so fun. Oh, so now what's gonna happen is there's going to be a randomly generated island popping up. Dota one, this is Dodo Tower. Wilbur, you copy? Got a walker who needs wings, over. Roger, ready when you are. 
Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? I love it. All right, let's see what kind of island we managed to get. This is going to be really fun. Look at the little dodo wings. Isn't that the most precious thing? I love it. And each island will be slightly different. It could have native fruit. It could have fruit that you've never seen before. It could have flowers you've seen or haven't seen before. It could have hybrid flowers. It could be dedicated to one type of animal or it could have multiple types. You just never know what you're going to get. And I love that. All right, we are two down and docked at the target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscars, go. First time getting your pan pontoons wet on tour? Let me brief you on the mystery island procedure. First, we run the finder's keeper protocol here. Lumber, fruit, fish, whatever, yours if you can carry it. Next up, break a tool, forget one? I can requisition you a replacement. Gotta charge you miles though. Also, there's one red line item that you need to memorize like your favorite latte order. Anything you leave behind stays here. We don't come back to these places. Ever. I actually burned the flight plans afterward. Security reasons. Can't explain more than that. I love that. Think that's everything. Go explore. If you get any trouble, ask yourself, what would dodos do? Meanwhile, I'll be in a holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh, it's got hyacinths on it. <gasps> and who's that? I don't know that. Oh, it's okay. So it's all natives, which is not the most exciting thing, but pretty cool. Uh, what we really need, though, are the rocks. Like, oh, and the coconut trees. Let's bring some coconut trees back home and plant them, you guys. All right. So let's see what lucky, lucky things we have here. There's so much we could collect. And normally I spend a ton of time on every island just gathering as much stuff as I can. I really go hardcore for it. All right, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 please, please, please. I'm only here in rocks and clay, it sounds like. Whoops. Okay, so I don't think we got many. I can't see, okay, oh, we got at least one. That's better than nothing. All right, so we'll go ahead and gather these up. Look, it's one of the man-faced beetles. So basically the way this works is that you can only take back with you things that you can fit inside of your inventory. So you want to be really, really critical about what you decide to bring with you, what you decide to take. Some islands will have new treasures you've never seen before. Some islands will have the animals that are worth a lot of money. But I often find that I end up with a lot of my native flowers and fruit. I've not been to an island that doesn't have the native plants yet. But I'm holding out hope that one day I will find just a really exotic island covered in flowers I've never seen before or filled with cherries and oranges. Okay, we've got at least two, three iron. Yes, that's good, that's good. Four iron. Yeah, that's all. You'll usually just get eight items per rock. And you can bring home the flowers, just like the full flowers as they are, which I think is amazing. All right, we just need seven more iron. This makes me super hopeful that we'll be able to pull this off. Also, let's say hello to this. Oh, she's so cute. She reminds me of our hyacinths. Puddles. Hi, fab to meet you. I'm Puddles. Are you visiting from another island too? Wildberry? Wow, that's a big trip just to come out hang with and hang with me on this neat little island. She's so cute. Siri, let's get to know each other while I'm here. Splish. Oh my gosh, I love her. The only thing better than kicking back and chilling on an island would be to do it forever. Spending time on an island is the best way to find your inner calm. <gasps> I love her. And hug it as hard as you can. Okay, I love her. If I lived on an island, splish, I'd be the calmest, most relaxed frog pop star you've ever met. Want to live on my island? Move to Wildberry? Oh my gosh, yes. I could move to any old island, but this is way better since you'll be there. You hear that, world? I'm... Moving to Wildberry! Oh my gosh! Yay! Okay, oh my gosh, moving? Okay, gah, so stressful, so much to do. Gotta calm down. Center yourself, Puddles. Find your happy place. Calm down. Ooh, all better. So, all I've got to do is get on this train, uh, to get on this train is go talk to Tom Nook. Easy! I cannot wait to have a chick Wildberry zip code. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. I'm five different flavors of excited about moving to Wildberry. Yay! I have no idea how she's going to like move in when we don't have a place for her just yet, but hopefully it will be soon. All right, let's go ahead and gather 
whatever this rock has to offer. We're so close, you guys. We not, might not be able to stay on this island nearly as long as I want. Darn. Yeah, we're going to have to probably go to another island since none of these. Okay. So close. Hang in there, Tommy and Timmy. We're going to make this happen. And the other thing is even though it may seem like, oh, this isn't that special. We have the same flowers and the same fruit that we have on our home island. Sometimes it's actually the animals here. Sometimes it's actually the fish. So... Ah, darn, he scared away the other guy. Is it the fish? Okay, so we got a loach. Like, I ended up on one island when I was on my home island with chips, and we were exploring some of the random ones. I ended up on one island that was just bass, which was really exciting, because bass sell for quite a bit. All right. Well, do we have any other... Let's go ahead and search out. Oh, here's a big guy. Let's try to catch him. Come here, big guy. All right, he's pretty, he's a pretty big chunker. What did we catch? Yes, okay, he's br brand new, a black bass. The most middle of all fish. And I actually haven't caught him before because it gave me the little yes announcement. And when you get the yes announcement, that means that you have not caught that fish before. All right, so if this has four iron, we're good to go. Fingers crossed, guys. One, two, three. Come on, just... Oh, are we going to be one iron short? <gasps> yes, we've done it! We have all of the iron we need. Huzzah! That's excellent. Let's go ahead and just collect all of those. Wonderful! So we can actually start heading back home now and turn in the iron in time and have enough time to work with... uh, <laughs> To work with our good friend... Gulliver, who just washed up to shore in the middle of the night. I do happen to have a nice clump of, or a, a night. I was looking at the weeds. I have a nice hammock that's actually next to where he's staying. So I hope he can just like chill in the hammock. Maybe that'll make him more comfy. Oh, there's another one of the, ah, 1,000 bells. 1,000 bells, thanks to the man face stink bug. Oh yeah, I will totally take that. And again, if sometimes you're like, gosh, like the fish aren't that special, the bugs aren't that special, the plants aren't that special, it might be the ocean fish that would be special. I ended up on one island where the ocean fish were an unusual quantity of sturgeon. So be sure you explore every corner. Yeah, in this case, that's not what we're looking for, but that's okay. All right. And it's also worth it to tap at the trees with your ax because I have found free furniture that will come from the trees. Also, I have found, just so you know, and are prepared in case this happens to you, uh, but I have actually also found wasps that come from the trees. So just be prepared, could be anything. We might wanna give the trees a good shake. Maybe I'll do that really quickly before I... Do you have furniture? Furniture? Furniture for, oh, <gasps> furniture, what did I just tell you guys? Totally worth checking all these trees. Throwback wrestling figure. Okay, that's gonna be an interesting find. And there's a little beetle on the ground. I think we've caught this guy, he's like a tiger beetle. But just to be sure. Oh, he's brand new. Okay, so we he is a tiger beetle, but we hadn't caught him, excellent. All right, well, I wanna go ahead and head back soon. But before we go, I'm gonna show you guys a cool trick I learned. Eat the fruit. We're gonna actually eat these coconuts, even though we don't have any coconuts and you might be going, oh, but Siri, don't you want to plant them? I do wanna have coconut trees on our island because we have not planted coconuts just yet. But the best way to handle that is to eat a couple pieces of fruit, head on over to a full grown coconut tree and pluck the whole thing out of the ground. Look at that. I think I showed you guys that before, but it's still an amazing trick. And now we can go ahead and grab the other coconut tree. Uh, I could even just take this whole apple tree. Why not? <laughs> I wanna take the whole thing back there. And then I do kinda wanna take back some of these hyacinths. 
Because they, especially all the red ones, I think. Because they remind me of our new friends, new friend puddles. And then we'll put a whole bunch of the red ones out and about. Uh-oh. Oh, he bit it on the first time and I couldn't really hear it. Oh, phooey. But let me check really quickly. Oh, wait. I need a vaulting pole to jump across. There we go. All right, I'm gonna grab some apples. Get the way to you guys. And we'll take, we'll go ahead and take the other coconut tree and we can plant it on our beach, which I'm really excited about. And then we will head back because I know it's already very late and we have just so much we could do every day, but I have to be strategic sometimes about choosing what we spend our time on. There we go, that's done. And then we'll go ahead, let's destroy the rocks. That may sound- oh, and that's a rare butterfly! Oh, we need to catch that! That's the emperor butterfly, it's kind of rare. I don't know if we happen to have it ready for blathers either, so... Alright, come here, friend. It only comes out later at night. Oh, we hadn't caught it yet! There we go! So a whole bunch of new animals, even though it may have felt like, oh, we didn't really find that much. Now what's this guy? Come here, friend. Oh, silly fish, come back. I want to catch you. So close. Oh, hold still, you. I'm pretty sure that there are large bass here, if you're willing to take the time to catch them. But again, I have to be strategic about what we spend time on. Come on, friend. If you want to come with me, you gotta act now. All right, what are you? Yep, sure enough. Another black bass. Nice! All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and destroy these rocks just in case they happen to have anything special in them. And that's very easily done. You just have to eat a piece of fruit. Schmack! And you can destroy the rock. We've already caught a centipede that I'm saving. Oh, there's another man-faced beetle. We'll catch that before we leave. Uh, can I reach another rock? I can. And then we'll smack this one. And rocks are actually kind of hard to find, so I think it's good to spend some time collecting them. We'll catch the man-faced stink bug, and I'll take back home two more of the hyacinths that are in full bloom. Because I think they're just gorgeous. We'll take back a couple of the red ones. Is the beetle gone? No, there he is. Another thousand bells ready to go. Love it. All right, and we'll put that away. We'll grab the shovel. The way you want to take a full plant back is to just dig it straight up. Ta-da! Puddles, if we see you back at our place, that'll be amazing. If not, it's totally okay. Oh geez, it's been such a big night. I wish I could stay longer. I'm ready to go home even though I really want to collect more stuff. <laughs> All right, be very positive because I won't want you leaving anything behind. So again, you ready? Ready. All right, let's do this, guys. We only have a little bit left because it's already so late at night. You guys are going to be like, Siri, why is there like a midnight episode of Animal Crossing? It's because I, I, I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I'm trying to take good care of myself. And I was spending the day with my beloved chips, which was awesome. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yay! We have all the iron nuggets we need! Let's go ahead and sell the stink bugs we have. Rush over to... Oh! <gasps> it's the tarantula! The tarantula is here, friends! Alright, we gotta be ready for this. Are you guys ready? We're about to have a fight for our lives. Here he comes. Do you see him? These guys only come out at night. Ah, he got me! Oh no! I was gonna get him and he got me! We passed out! Did I get bit by him? Or did he just scare, like, the living daylights out of me? Faint of heart! This island is home to creepy crawlies that would make anyone lightheaded. Maybe holding a net will make you less likely to faint. I fainted! Risen Phoenix! <laughs> because that guy got me. I can't believe that. Is he still here? Ah, uh, I wanted to catch him. He's worth like 8,000 bells. 
Ursula, how are you doing today? There you go. Hey Siri, congrats on the house! It looks like Tom Nook really came through for you. So what's it like on the inside? You better invite me over soon, Groomp. Oh man, I wish I could. Maybe I can send her a present. Maybe I'll se start sending the villagers just like little flowers in the mail because that would be so cute. Alright guys, I came back from my first island adventure. Ready to go ahead and donate! Alright, I'd like to donate. There we go, 30 iron nuggets. These are for you. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, this means we have everything we need to get started on our shop. And because you helped gather what we needed to start construction in the shop, we want you to have the honor. What is this honor, you ask? We'd like you, a key figure of making this happen, to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Oh, that's so cute! I love having that much control over what we're doing. Place that shop construction kit wherever you like, and we'll get started on construction. I'm so excited to see the location you pick for us. Yay! Alright, so let's do this, guys. We're going to put down the shop. We're going to go ahead. We're going to sell the man-faced jinx bugs. Not all of the black bass, but a few of them. I think I already have the loach. I don't have the tiger beetle, and I didn't have the emperor butterfly. I know I already had the dab. Um, and then throwback wrestling figure. Oh my gosh. And we already have a stink bug that we can give. I'm pretty sure I already had the loach, so I'll go ahead and sell that guy too. Alright, and... Yes, 4,000 bells is not bad for just a quick jaunt to another island. And I wasn't even able to, like, try to prioritize what we grabbed. All right, and we'll plant the coconuts down on the beach by our hammock while we're helping out. While we're helping out Gulliver. Also, where to plant, or where to put, where to plant, oh my gosh, the nookling shop. So Ursula lives over here. And I kind of think the nookling shop would be really, oh, really cute right over here maybe. How close to the beach? Hmm, eventually it's probably going to be a really big shop, you know? Hmm, I was thinking about putting it to the left, but I imagine they might want to stay near Tom Nook and be able to show off their stuff and what they what they do, what they collect. And we can always move it in the future. So what would it look like if we built it here? Reserve this area for the shop. Um, Let's move it forward just a little bit. Actually, then the tree will be taken out of the way, so this is good. All right. Let's imagine what it would look like. Oh, so cute! And it's right next to where their uncle can keep an eye on them, so that makes me happy. Yay! Alright, so now the shop is going to be there. Perfect! Then we will be able to get all the supplies we need to run our little biology center, which is really thriving so quickly. Uh, Alright, and speaking of thriving quickly, I can go ahead and put down an entire tree! Dun dun dun! Nice! <laughs> And we can even, let's shake the apples off so that we can get more apple trees, or apples growing on that tree. And then finally, we need to search up and down the beach now to try to help Gulliver find what he's looking for. So I think I need to get back on his side of the beach. But since we're over here by the hammock, where I'm going to pretend he knows that he can spend the night at, we're going to go ahead and plant one coconut tree no place to plant things like this since oh i need to give it a little more room huh what about let's see i'll move the hammock i think can i plant it right here or does it need to be okay it needs a little more room from the rocks all right then we're gonna plant one here and one can I plant one right here? Yes! There we go. We'll just go ahead and move the hammock in a bit. Nice. Look at that, guys. We'll shake the coconuts loose. I think we need to plant a coconut. We actually like need to plant one of these coconuts for it to count for the nook miles for planting the different fruit. There we go. We'll pull the hammock back a little. Phew! Busy, busy, busy. Let's plant one coconut so that we can get that down. Oh, and I need to plant a pear from the pears that Chip sent us. 
Well, gosh, that'll, you know what? That'll be for our morning gardening tomorrow. Because we just have so much that we've been doing. No, I need it to be just a little bit further down. There we go. Can I plant another coconut right here? All right, and we'll see. Oh, that's such a cute thing. And we'll see if that grows or not. All right, enough of this. We'll wrap up by finding a Gulliver's items. Phew. Hey, Gulliver. So now what we're looking for is we need to walk the beach. Hi, I hope I can find your communicator parts. This is going to be a little trickier than I thought because I'm not immediately seeing the little guys. Uh-oh. I am not immediately seeing the little guys. Gulliver, where are your communicator parts? They're buried in the sand. Okay, we have a shovel. So we need to walk the beach, and what will happen is as you walk around, you'll find those spots that have, uh, like, little clams that we found before spitting out water. And when you dig them up, it'll actually be his communicator parts. Oh boy. Oh me, oh my. This might actually be a little tricky. Could it be- oh, there's a spot! Yay! There's one of the parts! Okay, we can do this. There's one communicator part. We'll just walk the whole beach. Here's another spot. This is actually one of the clams that you can turn into fish food. But this is a communicator part. Yeah, we'll find it in no time. Cover this up. But we definitely want to make sure that he can get home. And keep an eye out for more tarantulas. Alright. Pierce is just relaxing with the nice, beautiful night. We'll go ahead and search the other side of the beaches. There we go. And get out the shovel. We might have to pace up and down the beach for a little bit in order to find it. Ah, oh, but what a wonderful day. And I'm just so happy. Yes! Just two more. To share such huge amounts of our adventures on Wildberry Island with you guys all at once. I know it's a ton, but I, I mean, we've done so much and we still get to learn so much. Oh, there's a present coming! Is it incoming or is it leaving? Please tell me this is a communicator part. Yes! Now we just need one more communicator part. And just the different surprises. You never know what's going to be for sale. I don't have my... Oh, we're going to miss that present because I don't have my slingshot. Oh, that gives me such deep pain. But we found all the communicator parts. So there's that. Oh, this is so painful. I want that present. But we can't get it because I don't have the parts. <laughs> Fooey. Maybe if I run, I don't have enough. Ah. Uh, but I don't have enough materials to get the slingshot. Fooey. All right. Well, that's okay. Sometimes you get them. Sometimes you miss them. Let's go ahead and go back over to our friend Gulliver and wrap up a very busy day. So cool. Tons of new animals that we found, new fruit we planted, new friends and gifts from my friends. And there you go, Gulliver. And tomorrow we'll start off with our gardening again. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. Yay! All right, the pieces are crammed back in there. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew! It's me! Your brother from another rotor! So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by and pick me up? Send in my coordinates now. Gulliver, over and out. There! That should do it. You're the best! Thanks for all the help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm gonna send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? I'm saved! Nothing to do but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. All right, guys, there we go. We have saved Gulliver, which I think is going to be a pretty familiar thing. Yes, there's our fruit roots. Nice. Oh, we've got so many nook points that we'll be able to use. This is going to be fantastic. We've got title seasons as a keyword. 
We're going to be able to explore so much. And Gulliver's Trivial, Trivials, Trivials? Uh, when you come across someone in trouble on the beach, you help them, setting a fine example for all the island residents. Such kindness will surely find its way back to you. Yeah, that's one out of ten now. <laughs> so we're going to have a lot of opportunities to save him in the future, I think. But thank you guys so much for joining me and for, you know, just adventuring in Wildberry with me. I know this has been just such a busy few days, but I love, I love, love, love sharing it with all of you guys. So, if you guys could, do please leave a like for Wildberry Island and its growing wonders. And if you would like to join us on this and thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye